Okay, we're not doing a car tonight for issues with products on like my Fiat and then 4Runner. We are looking at a Maytag Bravo, the Bravo commercial technology, my ass. But anyway, in short, I'm just gonna sum it up. This washer sucks. It sucks so bad because it takes two hours to do any load in here, no matter if it's light, medium, heavy, or extra heavy. And it doesn't matter what setting on here that is on, excluding these, it takes two hours to do everything. So, and you can only fill it up like halfway anyway in the, in the bin, you can only fill it up like halfway up, if that. So for me to do my bedding, which I have, you know, your sheets and then I have two blankets and they're like thin blankets, but it can only fit like one blanket per cycle because you can't fill it up like the old school one where you can fill it up all the way up to the lid. So you can only fill it up like halfway. So I put each blanket in by itself. Well, there's six total hours. So you have two hours for the sheets, two hours for the blankets per blanket. And then we have this fabulous dryer that goes with this shitty washer, but this fabulous dryer kicks ass. So I'm gonna cry when this one breaks, but I'm gonna celebrate because this one just died. And I'm gonna show you what happened. So my husband's clothes, they weren't coming clean at all. He was having like deodorant stains underneath the arm. It's like residue. It's almost like you had the powdered soap and you put it in there and it's supposed to swash around and it just kind of caked on and didn't fully dissolve. That's kind of how it was. So the last time this happened, we put it on hot and I washed everything in tap cold, but I had to put it on hot to get that off. Well, we tried it again and it didn't work. I'm like, oh shit. Plus it was making this god awful damn noise. We didn't know what the hell was going on. We thought a bearing went out. So we took the cap off that goes there and the bolt obviously missing because I threw it away because this thing's trash but if I can get the damn thing off <laughs> really <laughs> now you want to catch a piece of shit <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to bring it back I got it. Okay, first off, my other than that gripe of two hours per damn load, I hate the fact I have to freaking agitator. I hate this. So that's number two gripe. Now what happened to cause this thing to break? The bolt's supposed to go through there. You flip this baby over where the bolt should go. That thing right there should have teeth on it. Well, as you can see, it is AFU. This down here, I don't know if y'all can see that, I hope you can. Focus, focus, there you go. Has no teeth on it either, it is like smooth. Yeah. Sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy, but I have like shitty lighting right here. So yeah. That's, that's just sad. So this thing was making some god awful noise. So I'm just gonna set it upside down. So, we had this thing for five years and I don't do wash, or you know, like washing clothes like every single day. I try and do like three or four loads um, on the weekend. And apparently after doing that, for five years it just it just cracked out so yeah do not buy this this washer it sucks but buy the dryer that goes with the washer because boy howdy that thing kicks ass so yay nay